Brandon Bank, Ken, let's start with the visiting team in this one, the Delta Rabbits. Well, first of all, defensively, they've got to start on the defensive end. You've got to run South Severe off the three-point line. If they get going from that three-point line, they can run you out of the building. And as far as offense is concerned, Derek Smith, obviously the straw that kind of stirs the drink, he's kind of hopefully get to play through the pain and get him going early. And Jager Springer, if he hits the first three of the game that he takes, good shape for the Rabbits. Again, South Severe, I think, I think Chisholm's going to play big in this ball game, Robert, simply because he is so mobile out on the outside. And uh, so the keys for South Severe, uh, any, any more thoughts on what you think South Severe needs to do in this? And you mentioned Chisholm, and then the three-point aspect, they've got to get going on the outside. Absolutely. If they can get going on that three-point shot, make Delta run to the line and then go by, uh, it's going to be a long night if they start hitting those threes down. There is no doubt. And that's the best way to get round the inside out of the game as well. Yeah. And so there you go. Those are your Utah Independent Bank keys of the game. Loan decisions are made right here in town. Utah Independent Bank of Salina, Monroe, and Beaver. Hometown people and hometown spirit. All right, time now for our starting lineups in this game. And we'll start off with the designated visiting team. That is the Delta Rabbits. Here's Ken Nilsson. Yeah, first off, they'll come with the 6'4". Uh, a senior where's number two that's trevor burton averages 11 points per ball game and of course Derek smith the fabulous sophomore where's number three comes in averaging 20 per ball game playing with that brace tonight jamin Bruff, the starting guy to guard a 5 11 junior averages five points a game also getting the start jager springer the 6-2 junior he averages eight a game and then brett roundy down inside he's the 6-5 senior averages nine per game delta's coach by mr curtis topham Teresa thompson is our principal and of course rob fouls helps us out with athletic director duties all right, there's a starter for the Rabbits, and now for the designated home team, the South Severe Rams. First off is going to be a senior point guard at number five, Brody Tebbs. Then it's a senior forward, number 10, Easton Hunt. The senior shooting guard, number 14, Caleb Barton. And a senior power forward at number 21, Peyton Wood. And a senior, or a junior forward, Peyton Wood. And a junior forward, number 44, Tyson Chisholm. And of course, the South Severe Rams, coached by Rep Parsons with Randy Matson, the principal, and Boyd Price as the athletic director. And for South Severe, they are dressed in their home whites. They'll be going right to left across your radio dial or your computer and TV screen. And for the Delta Rabbits, they are dressed in their road reds. They will be going left to right across your radio dial or computer and TV screen. And Robert, how good does Brody Tebbs feel right now after that game-winning <laughs> shot yesterday against you? Uh, uh, you know what? He just uh, had his mind made up, took the length of the court, took it right to the front of the rim and got the winning bucket. I think he said that's the first game-winning shot he's ever hit in his career, but what a big one to get him to this game right here. Yes, it was. As Brody Tebbs had the buzzer beater to get the win. Oh, that yesterday over Chuap for Delta. They were in a scrum as well, scrum style of game. They beat South Summit 48-42 to advance to this semifinal game. Just about time now for the opening tip-off, and the opening tip-off brought to you by Delta City. Explore Western Miller County's ATV trails, rock hounding, travel bite sites, 18-hole golf course, water sports, hunting, and fishing. That's Delta City. And it'll be a Brett Roundy jumping it for Delta. Tyson Chisholm to jump for South Severe. And you know, Robert, we haven't seen a bad game down here with the boys. It's been a good tournament. Every game so competitive. Officials are set and ready to go. And both players <laughs> jump before the ball goes in the air, so the official re will reset. Ball is up. It'll be controlled by Roundy into the backcourt to Derek Smith. Smith across the timeline, picked up by Brody Tebb, so go right side to Bruff. Bruff hands off on the wing to Burton. Pump fake on the three, comes off the screen by Roundy and hands off to Springer. Springer right side goes to Bruff. Bruff lost the handle on, able to corral it, picks it up. Now he needs help. He'll go right wing at two Springer, guarded by Peyton Wood. Pump fake on the three, into the corner he goes to Bruff. Low block working into Roundy on Chisholm. Too hard off the glass. Rebound by Chisholm for the Rams. Now when they got the look they wanted, Robert, they had uh, Brett right down on the low block. He forced his way in, just didn't finish. Chisholm up top, looks to drive, goes in the corner. Barton open for three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound Springer for Delta. And Delta dodged the bullet there. How do you let him have such a wide open look on the first possession? But uh, luckily for the Rabbits anyway, he missed it. Derek Smith, right side, comes off the screen, pull up, 15-footer, blocked by Tebbs, picked up by Barton. Yeah. Down the floor it comes to Brody Tebbs as the Rams are off and running. Left side, he'll pull up, pat, pass across the lane, knocked to the bounds by Roundy. It'll be Delta basketball, or South Severe basketball underneath. Yeah, the intensity, it's in the arena already. You can hear both fan bases really getting after it. Great representation from both student bodies, and the communities are here. Boy, another one wide Barton open. Barton open again, round the rim, off the glass, no good. Rebound, Bruff, two good looks for Barton, neither of them go. Bruff coming the other way, he'll push the pace, driving against Barton, put it up, missed it, short off the glass. Payton Wood, the rebound for South Severe. Great defense because he slid with him all the way down, didn't go up and bump him, and it just caused kind of a runner down the side. That's one of those, you've got to go up to the rim instead of floating down the sideline. No score over a minute into the game. 
Up top is Tibbs. He'll go left wing to Hunt. Into the corner to Chisholm. He'll take the open three from the left side. Off the ba back of the rim. Bounce around and drops in. South Sevier strikes first as they knock down a Riverstone Contractors three-pointer. Now the defense nailed us in as a 1-3-1. One, one, kind of a, uh, well, they, they have a one man on the baseline trying to chase from corner to corner. And it leaves that open shot. That's three open looks from the corner because uh, Trevor Burton's having to chase all the way from one side to the other. Right wing, Jamin Bruff has it for Delta. Crossover dribble, looks to drive in the lane, cut off by Barton. Looking back door to Smith, not there. Up top to Springer, NBA range three. Short off the rim, high bounce, Roundy has the rebound. Ooh. Ball gets knocked loose, it's on the floor. Both teams diving for it, out of bounds it goes. And they're gonna say last touch by Delta, South Sevier basketball. One thing Delta's gotta understand, you bring a rebound down, you're gonna get it taken away. Everybody's in digging hard, so you've gotta protect the ball. Referees in these type of games generally will let you play a little more. The physicality will come out in this game, so you gotta be really strong with the ball. And I think we've seen that so far in the first two minutes. Across the timeline, Brody Tebbs for South Sevier into the wing, it goes to Hunt. Pump fake on the three, skip pass up top to Tebbs, left wing to Barton. Barton goes back into the wing, corner to Hunt. Hunt again for three, nothing but net. Easton Hunt with a Riverstone Contractors three-pointer. Four threes from the corner, two of them made for South Sevier. Yeah, and again, it's just too far to go as Trevor Burton's coming all the way across that baseline. And uh, we'll see if Delta makes a change coming out of this next possession. Six nothing, South Sevier leads. Up top is Bruff, lost the handle on it, able to corral it. Cross over dribble. He step, picks it up and comes up top to Burton. Trevor going to drive right side, kick it out to Springer, open for three from the wing. Nothing but net. Jager Springer with the Riverstone Contractors, three-pointer of his own. That's Jager Springer's game right there. Get your feet set, get it loaded up, and he can knock that one down. 5.15 to go in the quarter. 6-3 is your score on the Park South scoreboard. South Severe leading Delta 3A semifinal game. And you notice they changed up the defense on yes, this they possession. Did. They've gone man-to-man. -man. Chisholm going to drive in against round. He got by him. Reverse layup is good. What a take by Chisholm. He's got five. Yeah, and that's the problem you have when you do go man. It brings uh, Brett out to have to guard him on the perimeter. And Chisholm was very, very good at putting the ball on the floor. Derek Smith drives left, cut off by Tebbs on the left elbow. He'll hand off to Roundy. Up top, he'll come to Springer, guarded by Wood. Off the screen by Roundy, hands off to Bruff. He'll take the straightaway three and knocks it down. Jager, er, Jamin Bruff with a Riverstone Contractors three-pointer. Yeah, and the same thing for Jamin. He's good out there when he gets time. And you notice the double screen came up top, and he had all the time in the world to load that one up. And Delta needed that one to stay with stay with uh, South Sevier this early. Left wing Chisholm. He'll drive away and got double teamed with Springer. Puts up the shot off the back of him. They'll go to rebound, tipped out. Hunt has it for the Rams. Up top to Tebbs, guarded by Springer. Works his way left side of the pass to Wood, picked up by Smith, back out to Tebbs, they'll reset the offense. And this Brody. is, I was gonna say, this is where Delta's gonna have to help. Spin move by Tebbs in the lane, misses the baby hook off the back of the rim. Derek Smith, the rebound, Delta can tire, take the lead four minutes into the game. Smith up top, hesitates, gonna drive left side, and a foul called on the drive, that'll be on Tebbs, he'll pick up his first. And that's the physicality I've been talking about right there, is uh, a lot of that's been let go so far in the game. Usually referees will let that go as long as it doesn't alter the possession. Right. Inbounding underneath, Jamin Bruff. Looking in the lane. And it goes into the corner instead of Smith. Quick three off the inbounds. Wow. Pass nothing but net. What a shot by Derek Smith. And Delta has their first lead, 9-8. to eight. He just caught that going to his left, raised up, and knocked it down. Impressive. Into the corner, left side, Chisholm for three again for the Rams. Round Ooh. the rim, off the glass, no good. Smith the rebound for Delta. And he's feeling it because uh, that shot was down and, and right back out. Tough luck shot there for him because well, so he's got a good looking shot for he a does. big guy. Into the corner, Burton to the wing to Springer. He'll drive the lane, gets inside, bounce past the Roundy. Nice dish, up off the glass and in. Brent Roundy with his first bucket. 11-8, Delta to three-point lead. 3.35 to go in the first quarter on the Parts House scoreboard. And I like the move there from Brett because he knew the contact was coming, didn't let it alter his shot, went up strong and laid it in. Hayden Wood rises up for three, knocks it down. A Liverstone Contractors three-pointer. It's raining threes here at Burns Arena. 11-11, your score, 3.19 to go in the first quarter. Now that's three different uh, Rams that have knocked down a three. They are shooting the ball well here early. Up top, Derek Smith off the screen, set by Roundy, hesitates, kicks it into the corner. Jamin Bruff for three again. He knocks it down. Three rabbits have also hit threes in this game. Bruff with two. He's got six. Unbelievable. Again, he had time to get his feet set, knocks it down. This is a fun game, Robert, already. 14-11, <laughs> your score. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. Right wing, Chisholm, guarded by Roundy. Up top to Barton. Barton shakes the defense. Kick it left side. Tebbs open for three. Round the rim, no good. Rebound on the floor. Yep. Smith had it. Foul called on Peyton Wood as he reached in. Wow, another one that was halfway down and came back out. And there's the sophomore, with, he's just so heady. Goes and gets the rebound. Comes up just a little bit gimpy. He's playing with a brace that's a little bit heavy. You know, Robert, that's hard to do. You're so used to being able to move freely. And that brace restricts that knee from bending too far. And so he's just trying to feel it out and get used to it here. 
Derek Smith left side, he'll pull up for three over Tebbs. Nothing but that again. Derek Smith, the Riverstone contractor's three-pointer. He's got six. Delta has their largest lead of six, 17-11. Wow, just no conscience whatsoever. Just raises up and knocks it down. Left wing Chisholm, guarded by Roundy. ISO situation. Yep. Get it driving against him. Kicks it up on the baseline, bats out to Hunt. Needs to hunt pump like on the three. He looks to drive. Step back up top to Tebbs. Swing it right side, Barton. Six-point Delta lead, left side Chisholm into the corner to Hunt, Hunt for three, knocks it down again. Easton Hunt with his second Riverstone Contractors three-pointer. And that's five in the game for the Rams as they are shooting it with great confidence. Across the timeline comes Derek Smith for Delta. Two minutes to go in the first quarter, 17-14 Rabbits on the Parts House scoreboard. Smith works his way right side, hands off to Springer, Springer off the screen by round, he pulls up for three, pump fake, and he'll kick it back to Smith, deep three again, Oof. in and out, rebound by Peyton Wood, and he's going to be fouled by Springer, that'll be the first on Jager. Yeah, another one in and back out. And, and one thing, as I mentioned, the ability for Chisholm to put the ball on the floor makes Delta bring some help, and when the help comes, it leaves somebody else open for a wide open three, and they're good enough to, to pass the ball off. In fact, South Severe, I was looking earlier, they really play with a lot of assists. They're, they're willing to Around give it 18 up. 18 again. 18 again. That's almost unheard of in high school it ball. Is. That's great. Three new players for Delta. Dawson Dutson, Chase Fowles, and Jake Day. Easton Hunt has it up top. He'll go to Tebbs. Tebbs holding high left side. Screen, er, screen called for. He's going to go against it. Mm. And picked his pocket is Derek Smith. He's going the other way. Hunt trying to get back. Bounce pass left side to Burton. Too high for him to handle. Out of bounds it goes. Turnover by the Rabbits. Yeah, and I... I think with, with a healthy knee, Derek goes ahead and lays, tries to go up and lay that one in. He was trying to be unselfish there, which you like, yeah. but maybe go ahead and try to attack the basket right there. That was the first two turnovers of the game for either team wow. in a fast-paced ball game. 125 to go in the quarter. Kate's King going to check in on the next whistle for South Severe. Three-point Delta lead. Easton Hunt high left side. He'll come up top to Martin. Caleb off the screen, guarded by Jake Day. He'll pull up for the long three. Nope, in, uh, inside pass to Easton Hunt. He'll oh. miss the lay in. Try to go over the rim until he use the backboard and he misses it. Derek Smith, the rebound for the Rabbits. Down the floor, left side. Gets to the middle of the floor. Kick it right side. Dustin Dutton, 15 point, 15 footer off the grass and in. Dutton in the bucket, his first off the bench. How about the old school there right there, Robert? Banks it in That's from right. about 15, 16 feet out. A little Tim Duncan action. Left side, Easton Hunt has it, guarded by Trevor Burton. He'll come up top to Chisholm, picked up by Chase Fowles. Left wing to Barton. Caleb picked up by Jake Day. He'll rise up for the long three. Air oh. ball, rebound by Chisholm. He'll put it up, got it to the ball. Tyson Chisholm with a team high seven for South Severe. Yeah, great effort by Tyson right there. He saw it was going to be short and came up underneath, made a nice rebound catch, and then laid it in. 33 seconds to go in the quarter. Three-point Delta lead. Left side high to Dutson. Up top, it'll come back to Smith. Right wing, he'll go to Day. Looking inside, skip past left side to Dutson instead. High post of fouls, knocked away by Tebbs, picked up by Hunt, turnover by Delta's their second. Yeah, and I was going to say, Delta didn't need to get into a hurry there. You were down to about 20, 25 seconds. Go ahead and run that down. Now South Severe can hold for one. They're going to play for the final shot, the tie, or get within one. Brody Tebbs on the Dixie D. Goes right side, high to Chisholm. Back to Tebbs off the square, flare for three. Nothing but net. Tie ball game. Four seconds to go in the quarter. Derek Smith has it across the timeline. He works his way to the middle, puts up the deep shot. No foul called as he tried to draw it, and at the buzzer, it falls short. And at the end of one, we are all tied up in a classic here, 1919 Delta South Severe on the Partel scoreboard. We'll take the break on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centercom Channel 10. Materion Natural Resources in Delta, Utah, advocating education and athletic competition in our Millard County communities. Materion is the only source of high-quality beryllium in North America. Beryllium is used in your car, cable TV, and tablet. It's even used in your cell phone. Because of Beryllium, you're connected with family, friends, classmates, social media, and the web. Materion offers a safe and successful sports season to all Millard County schools. Materion Natural Resources. It's time to step out of one-size-fits-all medicine. Service Drug is now offering compound prescriptions that are uniquely personalized for you. The pharmacist at Service Drug will work with your doctor to personalize the dosage, and they can combine compatible drugs to simplify your medication schedule. They also feature flavorings that are child-friendly and eliminate unnecessary fillers to stop adverse reactions to medication. Ask your doctor how you could benefit from a compound prescription. And remember, it's Service First at Service Drug in Delta and Fillmore. And welcome back here to Burns Arena on the campus of Dixie State University. Four three-pointers by the Rams and five three-pointers in the game so far by the Delta Rabbits. 19-19 your score. And you better not get up to go get popcorn or a drink. <laughs> you better stay in your seat and watch this one because uh, this is so far maybe the best quarter of basketball we've seen down here in this tournament. Both it teams is. really getting after it. Low block past the Chisholm, a little bit too high to handle, and it's tipped to Chase Bowles. Turnover by South Severe will be their second. 
Tie ball game, Delta coming the other way. Right side high to Bruff. As he checks back into the game, up top back to Smith. Back to Bruff, right wing. South has gone to his own. 1-2-2 two, two zone for the Rams. Left side is Smith. He'll pick up his dribble to high post to Gonder. Gonder gets it out to the left side to Jake Day. Back to Smith. Back to Day. Day one dribble. Now he's trying to look for Smith again. Can't get it to him. He's being double teamed. He'll get it into the corner to Fouls. Fouls one dribble. Back to Jake Day. Up top to Smith. Derek going to dribble in the lane. Puts it up the right hand. Off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound by Case King. Yeah, right at the rim. Laid it up. Nice finger roll. And it just come off the back of that iron. Up top is Chisholm, 7-10 to go in the second quarter. Barton off the screen for three. Round the rim, off the glass, and dropped it in. Caleb Barton with his first bucket of the game. The rim very kind there as that went all the way around off the bank board and back in. But uh, that's, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six threes now in the ball game for South Severe. 6.53 to go in the half. Up top, Jake Day has it, guarded by Cates King. Left wing, he'll go to Gonder. Gonder one dribble inside the three-point line. 17-footer knocks it down. His first bucket off the bench. Yeah, beautiful little touch there by Tanner Gonder. Just one dribble raises up. And, you know, he's so long, Robert, that uh, it's hard to even go up and defend with him. Up the four comes Brody Tebbs. Pump fake on the three. He'll go right side out of King to the wing. Now to Chisholm. On the curl, those Barton. Spin move in the lane. He'll put up the right hand. Knocks it down. Caleb Barton now with five points in this quarter. It's 24-21. South Severe up three. 6.20 to go in the first half. Yeah, coming to life is Caleb Barton. He has got all the moves for this game, and Delta's going to have a hard time staying with him. They're going to have to bring help. Smith with a step back. Tried to draw the foul on Tebbs as he was going to go back up, but thought better of it. Now Gonder holding up top. He'll come high to Bruff. Bruff resets the offense for the Rabbits. 6.05 to go in the half. He'll step up, thought about the long three. Now he's looking in the lane, nothing there. He needs help, he'll get it to Gonder. Guarded by Easton Hunt. Off the screen, there's Gonder. He'll pull up. Nope, he just, <laughs> he got thought about it and then changed his mind. It's one of those games that you have to guard everybody, regardless of how far away from the basket they are. Right side, Jim McBruff. Will nope. wants a three, partially blocked by Barton, picked up by King underneath for the Rams. Yeah, that's not, that's not the shot that you want there. Jamin can hit that, but you want him to have some time to get a good look, and the defense was right. flying at him. Not a quick release. Yeah. Brody Tebbs in trouble, able to get rid of it to Tyson Chisholm. High left side now to Easton Hunt. Five and a half to go in the first half. Three points, South Severe lead. Left side, it'll come to Cates King, guarded by Derek Smith. Up top to Chisholm, picked up by Chase Fowles. Down on the curl, there's Easton Hunt driving in against Gonder. Pump fake, got everybody in the air. Turned around, six footer, missed it short. Rebound, Gonder, and a foul going to be called on Cates King as he reached in. That'll be his first, team's third. That uh, was a great move because the step one way, get the defense in the air, and then to come back the other way, just left it short. And uh, you can tell this pace really, really taking its toll. They're trying to substitute players back and forth to give people a blow because it is up and down in this one. Derek Smith will bring it up the floor for Delta. Jager Springer, Brett Roundy back in for the Rabbits. Into the corner, Trevor Burton going to go baseline. Tipped away from behind by Chisholm. Burton gets it back, but he traveled. As he nope, they're going to recall the reach-in foul. I think the near side official is going to call travel. They're going to come together and talk about it. The underneath official had the foul call. Be Let's, interesting what they decide on this one. They're going to go with the foul call underneath. He's going to go against Cates King, so he quickly picks up his second foul. So kind of a decision here now, uh, uh, trying to decide, do you, do you stay with him for the next 5.09, or do you bring him out, try and save him so he doesn't pick up that third one? Rough to inbound underneath for Delta. Lob it out to Burton. Burton high left side, guarded by Hunt, low block into Roundy, working on Chisholm, puts it up the right hand, off the glass and in, Brett Roundy with four points. Wow, high off the glass too. That was way up top off the bank board, nice move there. 24-23 your score, one point game, driving in is Tebbs, and he'll have the little floater with the right hand, Brody Tebbs with five points. Yeah, five different players have scored for South Severe. That's what I talked about this team. It's not a one-man show. They can bring multiple people at you, as they've done already. Derek Smith off the screen. Offensive foul called on Brett Roundy as Tebbs tried to fight over the top. That'll be the first on Roundy. Second team foul on Delta. Third Rabbit turnover. Yeah, that's one of those that, uh, that hurts if you're the Rabbits because uh, Derek hit the three, although the whistle blown, obviously. But you, you just don't know. This is one of those games. It's so physical, and then uh, sometimes you get a ticky-tack. Yeah, you do. Brody Tebbs backdoor pass to Caleb Barton. Whoa, against Roundy. Off. Blocked by Roundy. And the coming the other way is Jager Springer for the Rabbits. Up ahead, left side to Bruff. Bruff drives the lane. The defense going away, and he'll lay it in easily with the right hand. Delta within one, 26-25 Rams. Yeah, that's eight for Jamin Bruff. And he looked to the right side to give it up for a three, but the, the seas kind of parted for him. So he said, I'll go all the way in. Right side, Chisholm guarded by Roundy. Up top to Tebbs. He'll launch the three. 
Off the mark, no good. Rebound Smith underneath for the Rabbits. They can take the lead here. That was one of those kind of like Jamin Bruff. Maybe wait just a little longer. He'll put up the shot on the wow. right hand. What a take by Derek Smith. Didn't get the foul call, but he's got eight in the game. And Delta back in front, 27-26 with our third lead change. Yep, wonder about that knee. It was okay there. Easton Hunt, 15-footer, knocks it down. His mid-range game's so good. He's got eight points to lead South Severe. <laughs> right back at you. It's just like a kind of a, a heavyweight fight. Everybody throwing haymakers here. And both teams are really, really putting on a show here in the Burns Arena. Derek Smith now going to slow things down offensively. Right side, he works into the wing, guarded by Tebbs. Off the screen by Roundy, looking for the pick and roll, not there. Now he does go to Roundy. As he Beautiful. got behind Chisholm, Chisholm got lost, and Roundy lays it in. Brett Roundy now with six for Delta. They're back in front, 29-28. And there's Derek's game, the second part of his game. He could have raised up and shot that, but he saw the pick and roll, and Roundy was wide open. Really gave him a nice feed. Right side high, Easton Hunt, guarded by Burton. Swing it left side to Chisholm. Thought about the three, now spin move in against Roundy. Goes right, set against him off the glass. No mm. good, too hard. Rebound Roundy for the Rabbits. Yeah, that's too bad there for Tyson. It was a beautiful move. The ball just rolled off the rim because Brett was trying to avoid the foul on that one. Burton pump fake on the three. He'll drive into the lane and tries to pass to Roundy, but Roundy was nowhere to be found on that one as he was coming up the lane. Out of bounds it goes, turnover by Delta. Yeah, that's kind of a tough look there as, as Brett's not expecting that because the, the dribble was going away from him in the pass. He tried to flip it over his shoulder and Brett just wasn't ready for it. Under three to go in the first half. Delta 29, South Severe 28 on the Parks House scoreboard for the good stuff in auto parts. Visit the Parks House in Salina. Left elbow, Chisholm has it. Working on Rowney. There's the double team with Smith. He'll back out beyond the three-point line. And backs into the corner. He'll go to the wing to Hunt. Up top now to Tebbs. Tebbs will slow things down a little bit as he resets the offense for South Severe. Yeah, smart move there. Get everybody back in the right spots that you want them. Left wing to King. King crosses the dribble. Poked away by Smith. Yeah. But a reach-in foul called on Derek. That'll be his first. Team's third. Two and a half to go in the half. 29-28, Delta leads South Severe. South Severe basketball on the left sideline. Caleb Barton will inbound for the Rams. Picked up by Jamin Bruff. He'll get it in high to King. King fakes the handoff, now gives it up to Tebbs. Backdoor pass will go to, to Caleb Barton. Drives in the lane, puts it up, blocked in a foul call. That ball went into the seats. <laughs> and Caleb Barton will go to the line to shoot two free throws from the... Apex Foot and Ankle Institute free throw line. And then they could have called it on one, two, maybe three different players. Let's see who it goes on. It goes Jamin on James Bruff. Bruff. That'll be his first, team's fourth. Payton Wood get a check back into the game for South Severe after the first Caleb Barton free throw. First free throws of the game for either team here. I'm just going to say that. Can you believe it? First one. And Barton knocks it down to tie the game at 29. He's got six all in this quarter. Easton Hunt will get a breather for the Rams as Wood comes in. Jake Day comes back into the game. And leaving will be Jamin Bruff. Second free throw coming from Barton. Shot is up and good. Caleb makes them both. He's got seven. 30-29, South Severe back in front. Six lead changes already in this first half. Left side into the lane down the corner today. Stolen away by Barton. Saved into Cates King. King across the timeline, left side. He'll pull up and go to Chisel. Middle of the, nope, fakes oh, the pass. Now he goes in the corner to Wood. He'll take the three. In and around the rim, no good. Rebound Derek Smith on the baseline for the Rabbits. Boy. And they, boy, again, another bullet dodged by the Rabbits because that was a wide open look. Lava underneath to Jake Day, working on Chisel, put it up too hard off the glass. Rebound underneath by Delta. Roundy goes back up too hard off the glass again. Rebound bounces around, foul underneath on Delta as Roundy hits the floor. Yeah, Brett working hard down in there, but... Uh, and that'll be the foul on Roundy, yep. his second 15 foul. Nice job defensively down underneath there by the, by the Rams as they avoided the foul. Uh, Brett got a little quick and a little bit of a hurry trying to put that up, so... He'll come out of the game, yep. Chase fouls in, Dawson Dutson also checks into the game, and leaving, said and see who left earlier, Jager Springer left for Delta. A little bit of a surprise, Jager coming out right there, I don't know if it came off that turnover on that last pass, but he's going to sit for just a little bit. Made a 43 to go in the half, South Severe up by one with the basketball. Dawson Dutson guarding Brody Tebbs. Dutson comes out on him tight, stuck it in the count, right side high he goes to Barton. Picked up by Jake Day. Barton crosses over dribble. Looks to drive in. Spin move into the lane. Step back. Nothing there on the back elbow. He'll go up top to King. Left side to Chisel for three. Short off the rim. Rebound. Cates King down the middle. He'll go left side to Tabs. Pump fake on the three. He'll drive baseline. Gets inside. Pump fake. Got everybody in the air. Into the corner. Peyton Wood for three from the right side. Too hard off the rim. Wood follows his own shot. Gets the rebound. And now foul going to be called. That'll be the second on Derek Ooh. Smith. That's a tough call there. Both kids going for the ball right there. Delta wants to travel. South Severe wants a foul. And you can hear the crowd behind us. <laughs> Great crowd here at Burns Arena for both teams. It'll be South Severe basketball underneath. That's the fifth or the sixth foul on Delta. 
And Jamin Bruff with his two fouls, he's gonna, or his one foul, he'll come back in for Derek Smith. You don't want him to pick up yep. his third here. Exactly, at the minute 16, save him for the second half. One point South Severe lead in the first half. Brody Tebbs inbound, left side into the corner to Wood. Pump fake on the three, he'll drive the lane, spin move against Chase Fouls, up and under, nice take by Peyton Wood, he'll weigh it in. Beautiful up and under as he got the defender in the air, slipped underneath and laid it in. Jamin wow. Bruff quickly the other way. South Severe goes to X, the 1-2-2 two, two trap. Left side to Burton, into the corner. Three-pointer on the way from Jake Day, short off the rim. Rebound, chisel home for the Rams. South yeah. Severe can add to the three-point lead. And then we'll see now if uh, South Severe wants to hold here for the last shot as we're down to 50. Crossover dribble by Tebbs. He's going to go all the way inside, put it up off the glass too hard, and Coach Parsons not happy about it because he was calling for the final shot. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right because they could have run that on down and taken it, but uh, Delta's now going to get an opportunity coming the other way. And a foul called on the rebound on Peyton Wood. That's his second, team's fifth. Coach Parson also letting the official know that Brody Tebbs got fouled on that one, whether he should have entered or not. <laughs> Bruff across the timeline, high right to Jake Day. Back up top to Bruff near the timeline, swing it left side to Dutson, skip pass right side to Day. Day steps inside the three-point line, left side to Dutson, into the corner to Burton. He'll rise up for three, short off the rim, long rebound to Dutson down the lane. Out to Jake Day, 16-footer from the elbow, too hard. Rebound Brody Tebbs for South Severe, tied up by Day. Jump ball, possession arrow favors Delta. Yeah, Jake just came in, snuck in from behind, tied that up, and I think the possession does give it to Delta. But again, I'm not sure if Coach Toppin was happy either. That was a couple of quick shots yeah. under 30 to go. And, and, and I just going to say, game. where's your offense going to come from right here with Springer on the bench, Derek Smith on the bench, Trevor Burton's an option. He did take that Yet one three right there. The score in this there. game is Trevor Burton. Yep. Inbounding is Dawson Dutson underneath, looking in the lane. Nothing there, and able to get it in just in time to Trevor Burton near the timeline. Only because he's so athletic to yeah. get it. There's a receiver in him, he'll drive the lane, misses the finger roll with, off the front of the rim, rebound Chisholm, 17 seconds to go in the half. Now you're gonna take that quick shot, you better make it. That's right, Tebbs across the timeline, picked up by Dutson. Coach Parsons calling for the final shot, eight seconds to go. Play call comes in, right side high to Hunt. There's the flare back to Tebbs, he'll rise for three. Short off the rim, that's the same one to end the first quarter. He'll miss it this time, and Dutson has the rebound, but that'll do it for the first half. What a game we've got. South Samir 32, Delta 29 on the Park South scoreboard. We'll take the break and come back with the Jones & Mill Engineering Halftime Show next on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. We at Styler Daniels are proud to be a part of our local community by serving the needs of our agricultural and corporate partners. From estate planning, real estate, water law, or litigation, we are here to provide superior quality legal services. And we are proud supporters of Delta High Athletics. Come by Swizzle Soda Shop in Delta to try our specialty drinks, snow cones, hand-scooped ice cream, baked treats, and more. There's plenty of room to hang out with friends and even play Xbox on our big screen TV. So come on by to Swizzle Soda Shop at 189 West Main Street in Delta. You remember your family, right? Those cute little zombies that are always stuck to their screens? Well, with router limits, you can manage screen time, filter web content, and track the browsing history of all your kids. All you have to do is plug this little guy into your router. Seriously, that's it. Router limit starts with screen time. You can set a schedule for each family member, what they can do online, and when they can do it. You can filter content by category or even by a specific website. Sure, you've got great kids, but Sooner or later, they're going to come in contact with something that's not so great. Router Limits lets you see what they see so that you can have those important conversations before the internet has them for you. Router Limits helps my family disconnect from devices and reconnect with each other. Visit Centricom.com to learn more. At Farm Bureau, when we talk about protecting what matters most, we're not just talking about things with walls and things with wheels. We're talking about people, your family. Everything that's important to you is important to us. That's why our agents are ready to help protect your future and give you peace of mind today. Visit us online or just stop by to see how Farm Bureau agents make insurance simple. In Delta and Fillmore, contact Chad or Melanie to see how they make insurance simple. 
Robinson Transport is a major part of the central Utah economy by hauling supplies to maintain the energy needs of Utah and surrounding states. The management extends a sincere appreciation to all of their drivers for their hard work and dedication. Robinson Transport fully supports the education of our area youth and their participation in athletic competition. Should you need any construction equipment, topsoil, gravel, or concrete work, remember Robinson Transport of Salina, a proud sponsor of this sports broadcast. And welcome you back here to Burns Arena on the campus of Dixie State University. Robert Lovell with you alongside Ken Nilsson. And this is the Jones and Mill Engineering Halftime Show. Jones and Mill Engineering sponsors local programs supporting academic and athletic achievements. Building lasting relationships and working passionately is a winning combination. That's Jones and Mill Engineering. And at the half, what a game we've got here between these two heavyweights in the 3A classification. South Severe leads by three, 32 to 29 on the Parts House scoreboard. Ken, your takeaway from this first half? Just what we thought it was going to be. We thought it would be up and down, which it has been. Uh, as I said, a key to the game for Delta. Defensively, they would have to run South Severe off the line. Haven't done much of that, have they? As South Severe's hit, what, one, two, three, four, five, six threes in the first half. And Delta, not shabby themselves, they've got five threes. Yep. So, Wow. All, both teams had five combined in the first quarter, so just one in the second quarter after that. Absolutely. You can see them on the replays here, the rain and threes from all over the floor. Delta got a little bit out of sync there late in the half because they got into a little bit of foul trouble. Roundy had to leave. Uh, Derek Smith had to leave, and they just couldn't find the basket, and, and, and South Sevier kind of stepped on the gas a little bit there late. Yes, they did, and let's take a look at the first half stats. Your stat check, by the way, it is brought to you by Sorensen Levitt Insurance Agency. For your insurance needs, visit Sorensen Levitt Insurance, offering mutual of Enumclaw Insurance. Call Corey Sorensen in Richfield at 896-4471 or Cena Rasmussen in Salina at 529-7471. And first off for South Severe, they have the lead. Eight points from Easton Hunt to lead the Rams. Seven points apiece from Caleb Barton and Tyson Chisholm. Chisholm also has four rebounds to go along with it. Then five points apiece from Peyton Wood and Brody Tebbs. As a team, shooting 46% from the field, 43% mm. from the three-point line, and they've missed open looks early in this game as well. Absolutely. Uh, you shoot anywhere near 40% from the three-point line, you'll certainly take that, especially when you are a volume shooting team like South Sevier. They shoot a lot of them. Yeah. You shoot 40%, uh, you're going to put big points up. They average 70 a ball game, and, you know, they're, they're, they're a little bit off of that pace, but still shooting the ball very well. Yes, they are. And then at the free throw line, two for two in the game, both coming from Caleb Martin. And then for the stats for the Delta Rabbits, leading the way, Derek Smith and Jamin Bruff, each with eight points. Smith as the point guard, also five rebounds and three assists wow. in this game. And then you've got six points from Brett Roundy. He's been big, a big factor early. Three points from Jager Springer, two apiece from Dotson Dutson and Tanner Gonder. As a team, Delta shooting a little better overall at 48% and 42% from the three-point line at five for 12. Not bad. You'll take that as well. You know, one factor, uh, if you're a basketball aficionado, you say, wow, only two free throw shot in that first half. Well, that's because everything's coming from the perimeter. Right. There's, there's not been a lot of driving and, and, and a lot of contact inside. The officials have tried to stay out of this the best they can. They're letting the kids shoot the ball. Yes, they are, and no free throws taken by Delta in the yep. first half. The rebound battle, even, 12-12 to 12 between the Rams and the Rabbits. And then turnover-wise, very, very clean game. Just two for South Severe, five for Delta. Wow, I've always said if you keep your turnovers at 12 or under, especially in high school basketball, you're doing fabulous. So to see those kind of numbers in this type of a game, uh, you know what that speaks very, very loudly of? Good coaching. Both yeah. of these coaches are very well res respected around the league. They preach taking care of the ball, and, and their offenses are set to, the, to be crisp, clean, and don't turn it over, and they haven't tonight. That, those are amazing numbers. So there's your first half stats brought to you by Sorensen Levitt Insurance Agency in Richfield and Salina on, Mo on Main Street in both of those towns. Right now, the five-time defending state champion, South Severe Sensations, entertaining the crowd here today at the Burns Arena on the campus of Dixie State University. They won this year in 3A, and the last four years, they were in 2A. Yeah, they are they are fantastic. Uh, it, that's the kind of stuff my wife likes to come and watch as well. As, <laughs> you know, and, and I'll tell you what, just from being around our drill team back home, these girls put a lot of time in. It's mornings, it's evenings, it's weekends. They travel a lot, compete. And so hats off to the young ladies and the, the, the support crew around them and their advisors and the parents because, uh, wow, they really get after it. There's some good athletes there. And we'll make a basketball tie. The head coach of the Sensations, Kelly Barton, the mother of Caleb Barton. Wow, there you so, go. There you go. 
There's your first half stats. This is the Jones and Emil Engineering Halftime Show. From slam dunks to buzzer beaters, the Jones and Emil Engineering team is here to help you tackle the toughest infrastructure issues. We'll take a break, come back, and get you ready for the second half in this 3A boys basketball semifinal as we've got South Severe leading Delta 32-29 to on the Bartow scoreboard. We'll take the break on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. I'm Dr. Jason Standring, Central Valley Medical Center. I wanted to become a doctor because as I grew up, my family had a family doc that delivered my siblings and took care of us when we were sick and if we had to go to the hospital, and I wanted to do the same thing. Family medicine allows me to do that. I love the fact that I can take care of families throughout their lifespan, from birth and throughout their growing years and their families, even until the end of life care. I'm Dr. Jason Standring at Central Valley Medical Center, and we're accepting new patients, and I'm eager to get to know you and your family. You've seen Zions Bank's name at sporting events, performances, and fundraisers. We're just about everywhere. Your children and grandchildren see Zions dedicated employees in their classroom, teaching them how to save. We do all this because we have skin in the game. We support South Central Utah because we live and work here too. So we're as committed to this community's future as you are. When it comes to choosing to bank at Zions, rest assured you're selecting a company dedicated to bringing value to South Central Utah's businesses, individuals, and families. ZionsBank.com, member FDIC. Sahara Motors, just north of Delta, makes the vehicle buying process easy and stress-free just for you. Choose from five new brands under one roof and let the adventure begin. That's right, Sahara Motors has new Ford, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram all under one roof to make the process quick and easy. Oh yeah, and an entire lot full of pre-owned vehicles completes the deal. Be sure to welcome Kaylin Sperry to the sales force at Sahara Motors, just north of Delta. Since 1947, Barney Trucking in Salina has built a reputation of unparalleled customer service and satisfaction in the trucking industry. Barney Trucking in Salina is now hiring local drivers. If you're looking for a solid career in the trucking industry that has a positive working environment, join the big blue trucks of Barney Trucking. The job includes benefits, training, retirement, and requires a Class A CDL license and an endorsement for doubles and triples. To apply, go to BarneyTrucking.com or call 529-4422. That's 529-4422. Sevier Valley Hospital supports our local athletes, not only during the game, but when they need some help to get back into it too. Our own team of starters includes physicians who specialize in orthopedic and general surgery, ENT, podiatry, family and internal medicine, pain management, and other areas of care. And they work to repair sports and everyday injuries right at our hospital, helping to keep both our athletes and their fans close to home for your care. Sevier Valley Hospital, healing for life. And we welcome you back here to Burns Arena on the campus of Dixie State University. We talked about the South Severe Sensations. The Delta Tridels just performed as well. And now the rabbit out there doing some moves at half court. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I gotta love the rabbit here entertaining as well. So once again, uh, is there a better atmosphere than high school state tournament basketball? You bring in communities like this and everybody's having a great time and you're seeing a really good basketball game here. This is one of the better tournaments I've seen in a while. Every game uh, has really, really been competitive. Uh, buzzer beaters. How many of those have we seen down here this weekend? Right. Yeah. So, you have suffered two losses two to of buzzer beaters. Oh, I just felt for Coach Cam Wright because he had his kids playing well here uh, down the stretch and uh, uh, just come up a little bit short. But hats off to Cam and the job that he's done with the, with the Juab loss. Take a look at the second half now, Ken, with Southfield leading Delta 32-29. Both teams really playing it pretty darn well in this game. What did Zelta need to do to come down now? Just three points down, but still behind at this point to come back and get the lead. You know, it, it's a tough, tough uh, chore for Delta because South uh, Severe is shooting the ball so well. You know, when you've got one, two, three, you got four, one, two, three, four, five different players that have hit a three in the first half. So who do you help off of? It, it's tough, it's tough to decide who are you going to try and help off? So you just got to ask your kids, you know, be aware of where your man's at at all times. You've just got to come and deny as hard as possible. And then Delta's got to stay out of uh, foul trouble. Uh, Derek Smith's got to be on the floor. Not because I say he's got to score all the points. He doesn't. Right. But he's good with the ball. He handles the ball well. Five rebounds, three assists. And so that's why he's got to be out there as well. And then the rest of them, uh, you hope to, that uh, maybe like uh, Trevor Burton, maybe he'll come to life yesterday. He stepped in yeah. when Derek got hurt, and he was able to knock a couple of threes down. They need him to come in and kind of step up and pick up the cause. But as Notice far the as action goes, in those yeah. stats. Zero points, zero rebounds, one assist. Yeah, and, and Trevor's a better player than that. He's a good player. He's so athletic that uh, 
I, I'll bet you Coach Topham might challenge him a little bit in there during the halftime break. Say, okay, your time to shine. Uh, he's a senior. He's got great leadership skills, and we'll see what adjustments they might make. But as far as South Severe is concerned, uh, I don't know what adjustments you make there. They're <laughs> shooting the ball so well. And defensively, they're getting after it. They're pushing Delta out, out of their comfort zone. Uh, they're getting them off that three-point line way out there. And so, you know, they got to be happy, I would think, as well. And, you know, the, three, the two threes made by Derek Smith, you can't defend those nope. types of shots. Uh, incredible shots by Derek. And so when you look at the defense out of things, yeah, maybe you can get on, on Jamin Bruff and Jager Springer when they hit theirs a little more, but the ones Derek shot, you, mm. you can't defend those regardless of what you're doing. You know, and i got to give uh, some credit there to Derek because uh, I, know, I know he's hurting a little bit with that knee, and he's dragging a brace around. Any of you that are out there that have had to play with something like that, uh, first of all, anytime you put on a heavy brace, it restricts movement, and you got to get used to it. And, yeah. and this, this is the first he's even had it on us here tonight in this ball game. So yeah, he's playing through it, and he's done a pretty good job so far. At the half, it's South Severe 32, Delta 29. This has been the Jones and the Mill Engineering Halftime Show. Jones and the Mill applauds the team for hard work, dedication, and commitment. The race for excellence has no finish line. We'll take a break and come back with the second half next on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. We offer quick service on your loan request. We make our loan decisions right here at the bank. You don't have to wait for an answer from some out-of-town loan committee. It's one of the advantages of banking with hometown people. You're independent, so are we. Utah Independent Bank, member FDIC. Hometown people, hometown spirit. Hometown people, hometown spirit. The Intermountain Power Service Corporation is proud to bring you this presentation. IPSC is a community-minded company that contributes to our local schools, community organizations, and economy. The Intermountain Power Project consistently ranks among the best of America's coal-based power plants in reliability, cost-effectiveness, and environmental responsibility. Intermountain Power Service Corporation strives for perfection and is honored to be actively involved with Delta Millard and Juab High Schools. Nearly every person reaches a point in their lives when they need to have their wisdom teeth removed. Dr. Barton of Elevate Oral and Facial Surgery is the choice for wisdom tooth removal that can give you the peace of mind that you want. Having completed an additional six years of hospital-based surgical and anesthesia training after dental school makes him uniquely qualified to help you. Dr. Barton always takes the time to clearly explain the procedure so that you fully understand what to expect and are comfortable with your treatment. Visit them online at richfieldoralsurgery.com or call them at 435-287-4455. Elevate Oral and Facial Surgery. Materion Natural Resources in Delta, Utah, advocating education and athletic competition in our Millard County communities. Materion is the only source of high-quality beryllium in North America. Beryllium is used in your car, cable TV, and tablet. It's even used in your cell phone. Because of beryllium, you're connected with family, friends, classmates, social media, and the web. Materion offers a safe and successful sports season to all Millard County schools. Materion Natural Resources. And welcome back here to Burns Arena. Just a score of note to pass along to you in the 2A semifinal at the half. Beaver leads Lake Christian Academy 28-22 in that one. That's my upset pick of the weekend in the 2A tournament is Beaver over LCA. So halfway through, looking good. I love the pick, too. Uh, yeah. That would be a big upset, but uh, that might be one of those you say, oh, chuck up for the, the small town out of southern Utah if they could knock off uh, a giant like Lake Christian because Lake Christian's got some athletes. They really do. Yes, they do. To the second half we go here at the Burns Arena. South Severe leading Delta 32-29 on the Parts House scoreboard. And South Severe basketball to start in the second half. Tebbs off the string in a drive right set against Springer. Cut off in the wall block. Puts it up off the glass and in. Brody Tebbs with seven. Boy, what a great effort there. He, he came off that high screen off the top and just went right to the rim. And nobody could go up with him. He elevated so high. Smith off the screen. Backdoor pass to Roundy off his shoulder. Picked up by Wood. Turnover by Delta's their sixth. Down the floor up ahead to Barton. Up top he'll go to Tebbs. And they'll back it out and slow things down. So not South the start you want if you're Delta right, right off the bat, that's for sure. South Severe leads by five. That ties their largest lead. A long three from Tebbs off the screen. Not, nothing but net. Brody Tebbs with a game high 10. Another Riverstone contractor's three-pointer. Well, Delta got caught on the high screen on the last play, so they were nervous about trying to, uh, to, to jump under the, the screen to get around and cut him off. And when they did that, he said, oh, I've got plenty of room. I'll just put it up. 
Jet Bruff hands off from the corner to Burton. He'll drive baseline against Hunt. Puts up the shot. Knocks it down. Trevor Burton in the in the uh, stat line now with two points. There's Trevor Burton. We talked about him at halftime that uh, I, I really thought he would come out and make his presence felt here in this second half. That's good to see him get off the snide right there. And Delton needs him to do so. Thames off the screen by Chisholm. We'll drive right. It again. Got my Springer. Put it up. Off the glass. No good with a foul call. Then Brody Thames going to the apex. Foot and ankle institute. Free throw line to shoot two. That's the third time they've run that high screen, that high ball screen off the top and twice they've got to the basket. Once they hit the long three, Delta's gonna have to figure out how they wanna defend that. So Tabs at the line, shooting two free throws. First free throw from Tabs is good. By the way, call Dr. Viliami Baka Utica call at Apex Foot and Ankle Institute, treating all ankle conditions with an evidence-based approach. Call Apex today at 435-287-2444. Second free throw from Tabs. Shot is up and good, he makes them both. Brody Tabs with a game high 12, seven already in this third quarter in the first minute and 13 seconds. Derek Smith up the floor. Crossover dribble goes right around Brody Tabs. Scoop with left hand, no good, but a foul called on Chisholm. And Derek Smith will shoot the first free throws of the game for Delta. Yeah, and you'll see Derek thinking, okay, maybe I need to be a little more aggressive here and try and get to the basket. He's so good at that step through the sophomore. You know, when we get a chance, uh, I know you showed me a little, uh, little uh, news headlines going there as I talked <laughs> yeah. about professional players. How about the college game, Robert, right now? Those in a huge, players. huge shakeup going down right now in college basketball. Yeah, I just got the headline that Arizona coach Sean Miller captured on an FBI wiretap discussing paying a recruit $100,000. Yikes. 39-31 South Sevier, second free throw from Smith is good. He makes one of two from the Miller County Credit Union free throw line. He's got nine to lead Delta. For that kind of money, Robert, uh, you and I are heading to Arizona. <laughs> Easton Hunt at the Dixie D. Hands off to Brody Thames, guarded tightly by Bruff. And now a foul called on Jamin Bruff as he came into him with the body. That will be the second on Bruff. And I don't think the official wanted to call it, but it was so obvious. Clear out here, you're, you're, you're what, 35, 40 feet from the basket, and you're in front of, uh, of the bench here. Everybody's calling for it. He had to make that call, so Delta's got to be aware. You can't come out and be that aggressive. Chisholm has it right side high for the Rams. Play call comes in from Coach Parsons. Chisholm guarded by Roundy. Looks to dribble in against him. Crossover dribble, drives right side, scoop it up. Off the back of the rim, no good. And rebound on the back side by Chisholm. He'll hand off to Woods. Spin move in the lane. He'll put up the shot. And don't wave it off. Traveling is the call on Peyton Wood. Third turnover by South Sevier. Now that was a set play that was called right here by Coach Parsons. Yep. That was just uh, basically, you know, spread him out and let Chisholm take Roundy the basket. Great move, just couldn't quite finish it. But we talked about that in the pregame. He's so good off the dribble, Delta's gonna have to bring some help on him. Right side, Derek Smith off the screen by Roundy. He'll pull up for the long two, short off the rim. Long rebound, Chisholm has it for the Rams. Yep, just a little short on the pull up jumper right there. Up the floor it comes, right side, Barton open in transition. Three pointer, he knocks it down. A Riverstone contractor's three pointer. He's got 10, Coach Topham wants to talk about it. South Samir with the largest lead of the game of 10. 5.49 to go in the third on the Parts House scoreboard. Rams 42, Delta 32. We'll take the break on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. It's time to step out of one-size-fits-all medicine. Service Drug is now offering compound prescriptions that are uniquely personalized for you. The pharmacist at Service Drug will work with your doctor to personalize the dosage, and they can combine compatible drugs to simplify your medication schedule. They also feature flavorings that are child-friendly and eliminate unnecessary fillers to stop adverse reactions to medication. Ask your doctor how you could benefit from a compound prescription. And remember, it's Service First at Service Drug in Delta and Fillmore. We at Styler Daniels are proud to be a part of our local community by serving the needs of our agricultural and corporate partners. From estate planning, real estate, water law, or litigation, we are here to provide superior quality legal services. And we are proud supporters of Delta High Athletics. Come by Swizzle Soda Shop in Delta to try our specialty drinks, snow cones, hand-scooped ice cream, baked treats, and more. There's plenty of room to hang out with friends and even play Xbox on our big screen TV. So come on by to Swizzle Soda Shop at 189 West Main Street in Delta. 5.40 down to go in the third quarter. Salisbury has opened up a 10-point lead, 42-32, to 32, a 10-3 run to start this quarter. Left side, Derek Smith, high post around, a backdoor pass to Jamin Bruff. He'll drive in, puts up the shot. Counter his foul, Jamin Bruff the bucket and the chance at the three-point play. And, and I'm sure some of the fans from South Severe don't like it, but I'll tell you why the call was made there. He kind of began his fall before Jamin got to him. Yeah, Easton Hunt started to lean back, trying to draw the charge, didn't wait for the contact to come. So Bruff at the line, the Millard County Credit Union free throw line. Serving Millard County with offices in Fillmore and Delta, the and one, no good. 
Rebound by Chisholm. Delta one for three from the charity stripe in this second half and that, for the game. That can't happen, Robert. You've got to hit free throws in a game like this. If you want to stay with Sal Severe, you've got to convert on every possession. Caleb Barton right side goes around Burton. Step back now left side to Hunt. Hunt going to dribble away and got cut off by Springer. Back out to Barton. Barton dribbles in, comes back up top to Chisholm. Chisholm guarded by Roundy. Isolation play comes in again. Still moving the lane. There's a the double team. Put it up over Roundy. What a shot. High off the glass. Chisholm knocks it down. He's got nine. In fact, I thought he was fading behind the bank board, and he somehow banked that in and got it to go. What a beautiful move there by Tyson. Smith going to drive left side. Puts up the runner off the rim. Off the glass. No good. Rebound. Peyton Wood for Delta. Or for South Severe, excuse me. Now Caleb Barton coming the other way, trying to add to South Severe's 10-point lead. He'll drive right side against Burton. Got by him. Scoop it up and score. Caleb Barton with 12. Yeah, beautiful move there by Caleb Barton. And right now, Everything is falling for South Severe. I think they've missed one, maybe two shots in the entire quarter, and that's it. And you mentioned it earlier, when they get going like this, they're hard to stop. Right side, Derek Smith. Off the screen by Roundy, step back for the college three. Off the rim, no good, missed it short. He's a little bit short in this second half, Ken. Yeah, and I think that's a little bit of, uh, of uh, fatigue, and maybe that knee, you know, you, you break, and it was an extended break. Barton pulls up for the straightaway three, missed it short, rebound by Brent Roundy, and a foul called on Tyson Chisholm as he came into his back. That's the second on Chisholm, and third team foul on South Sevier. Yeah, they did a nice uh, award ceremony here, super fan during the halftime, and so it was a 15 minute half instead right. of a 10. And, and so you, you go in and sit down, and sometimes you tighten up a little bit, and so let's see if Derek can uh, kind of loosen up, get things going right here. Delta has got to answer. They're in a danger zone right now. Derek Smith up the floor, guarded by Tebbs. He'll go right side to, to Springer. He'll launch the quick three. Off the rim, off the glass, no good. Barton the rebound for South Severe. And as good as South Severe is shooting the ball this quarter, Delta isn't. It's almost right. an opposite. Right wing, Hunt off the screen by Barton. He'll back out, go left side out of Chisholm. Play call comes in. He calls for Caleb to come get it. Barton has it on the Dixie D. Guarded by Trevor Burton. And yeah, Barton going to step back for the deep three straight away. Short off the rim, long rebound. Burton has it for Delta. He'll hand to Bruff. One on three for Jamin Bruff. He'll drive in right side. The defense went away from him. He'll lay it in easily. Yeah, beautiful move there by Jamin Bruff because you're right. He, he, he paused for a minute, and the defense left him, so he got on the gas again and went right to the glass. 46-36, 10-point South Severe lead. 3.38 to go in the quarter. Right side, Chisholm. He'll launch the three from the wing. Off the back of the rim, no good. Long rebound to Easton Hunt. Left side, he'll dribble. Got cut off by Smith. Back out to Chisholm. And again, they'll reset. Chisholm off the screen by Wood. Double team comes. Up top, he goes to Wood. He'll hand to Tebbs. He'll take the three. Off the rim, off the glass, no good. Missed it short. Roundy the rebound for Delta. Yeah, and so Delta, the last couple possessions, done a much better job getting out and defending that three-point line. So let's see if things settle down a little bit now. Springer gets cut off at the top of the key. He'll go right side. Bruff for the college three. That'll be an air ball. On the rebound, though, Derek Smith lays it in. Yeah, great effort there by Derek Smith because he saw the ball was going to be short, came all the way from the weak side to catch that under the rim and lay it up and in. 46-38, South Severe. Three minutes to go in the third. Up top, Easton Hunt. He'll take the three. And off the glass, no good, didn't draw iron, and South Severe now getting a little too loose. Yeah, I, I, sometimes when you see the ball going down like it is, uh, you get maybe so confident. Derek Smith, a beautiful oh. drive, scoop it up and score the right hand. Back-to-back -back buckets for Smith. Makes it a six-point game, 46-40, South Severe, 238 to go in the third. Yeah, it was double digits at 12, now all of a sudden they cut it in half. Let's see uh, if Coach Parsons will take a timeout. He says, no, let's play on, see if we can get going on offense again. Right side high, it comes to Hunt, guarded by Springer. Up top to Chisholm. Looking back door for Barton, it wasn't there. He comes out to Barton, high right side, up top to Wood. And now Coach Parsons will call time. Yep. And it's going to be a Richfield Days In timeout catering to high school teams and offering special rates. Call 896-6476. 221 to go in the third. South Severe 46, Delta 40 on the Parks House scoreboard. We'll take the break on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. You remember your family, right? Those cute little zombies that are always stuck to their screens. Well, with router limits, you can manage screen time, filter web content, and track the browsing history of all your kids. All you have to do is plug this little guy into your router. Seriously, that's it. Router limit starts with screen time. You can set a schedule for each family member, what they can do online, and when they can do it. You can filter content by category or even by a specific website. Sure, you've got great kids, but Sooner or later, they're going to come in contact with something that's not so great. Router Limits lets you see what they see so that you can have those important conversations before the internet has them for you. Router Limits helps my family disconnect from devices and reconnect with each other. Visit Centricom.com to learn more. 
And welcome back here to Burns Arena on the campus of Dixie State University. Salsifer basketball coming out of the Richfield Days in timeout. They lead Delta 46 to 40 on the Park South scoreboard. Thames has it in the backcourt. He'll bring it across the timeline. Picked up by Jake Day, who checked in along with Dawson Dutson for Delta. Cades King into the game for South Sevier. Low block into Hunt. He'll put it up over Dutson. In and out. Rebound underneath. And it's bobbled around. Picked up by Hunt. He'll go back up with the right hand. Off the glass and in. Easton Hunt, the second chance, gets it to fall. And that's something that the Delta cannot afford to do. You defend so well, and then you give up a cheapy right there. But give credit right there uh, to Hunt. Stayed with it and then finished on a tough second chance opportunity right there. High left side, Burton has it for Delta. He'll go to Smith. Smith gets by everybody, scooping up and scored the finger roll. Derek Smith now with a game high 15. Yeah, the sophomore is just uh, imposing his will in this game. They know they need his offense. Tebs across the timeline, minute 37 to go in the third quarter. Back to a six point game, 48-42 Rams. Up top it'll come to Hunt, guarded by Dutson. He'll go to King. Picked up by Smith, can a fake right, goes left to the wing to Chisholm, he'll rise for three, nothing but net. Tyson Chisholm, a Riverstone contractor's three-pointer, he's got 12. You know, and, and if he's knocking that down, Robert, South Sevier's gonna be so hard to beat because when you pull your big man away from the basket, that's hard to defend. Round, he has it inside, high off the glass, too hard, a little bit further away than I think you realized. Yeah, I think so too. Rebound by the Rams, Brody Temps across the timeline, picked up by Jake Day. He'll back things out, and reset the offense for South Sevier, a minute to go in the third quarter, up nine. High left side, he'll go off the screen by Chisholm. Picked up and hedged by Roundy, picking it back up his day. Right elbow, long three by Barton, off the rim, no good. Rebound underneath the Hunt, he'll hand off to Cates King. Up top it'll come to Barton, left wing back to King. Thought about the three, now dribbles in. Right side to Hunt, pump fake, he'll dribble into the inside the three-point line, gets cut off by Dutson, hands off back to King. Left side Chisholm, again he'll rise for three, and again he knocks it down. Chisholm with 15 to lead the Rams. And that came off of another offensive rebound. You notice Coach Topham needed a whistle because he's got a young man. He's got Tanner Gonder waiting to get in because he needs help on the boards. Just couldn't get him in the game. Dawson Dutson drives into the lane, blocking the shot by Cates King, picked up by Chisholm. 18 seconds to go in the quarter. 12 point South Severe lead. They can add to that here to end the quarter as they'll play for the final shot. Yeah, and that's a tough shot to take with 18 seconds to go. Tabs will go right side to Chisholm, guarded by Roundy. Backdoor pass to Barton. Barton, pump fake on the three, got his man in the air, puts up the three, short off the rim, King the rebound, but knocked down by Tyson Chisholm. And that's a rough one there if you're Kate's King as you got the hip issue and you're Ooh, under your yeah. own player and go to the floor like that. Hopefully both of them are okay as Chisholm appeared to be shaken up as well. I think he's bleeding. Chisholm's got a bloody nose at the end of that quarter. We'll take the break on the Parts House scoreboard. South Severe 54 and Delta 42 on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. At Farm Bureau, when we talk about protecting what matters most, we're not just talking about things with walls and things with wheels. We're talking about people, your family. Everything that's important to you is important to us. That's why our agents are ready to help protect your future and give you peace of mind today. Visit us online or just stop by to see how Farm Bureau agents make insurance simple. In Delta and Fillmore, contact Chad or Melanie to see how they make insurance simple. Robinson Transport is a major part of the central Utah economy by hauling supplies to maintain the energy needs of Utah and surrounding states. The management extends a sincere appreciation to all of their drivers for their hard work and dedication. Robinson Transport fully supports the education of our area youth and their participation in athletic competition. Should you need any construction equipment, topsoil, gravel, or concrete work, remember Robinson Transport of Salina, a proud sponsor of this sports broadcast. And as we come back here to Burns Arena, Tyson Chisholm leaves the floor. He was bleeding from his eye, so, well, his eyebrow, yeah. that right on that area. As he, him and Cates King collided on that last play of the quarter, and they've got to wipe up blood off the floor as he went to that far sideline so he could get off the floor as quickly as possible when he realized he was bleeding, but he does leave the floor. He's got to go get that taped up before he can come back in. Geez, you hate to lose uh, King and Chisholm yeah, on, uh, on the play. same play together there because, uh, boy, Tyson Chisholm has just come to life here late. Uh, he's part of a big part of the reason that South Severe outscores Dale to 22 to 13 in the period. Yeah. And South Severe now leads it by 12, 54 to 42 over the Rabbits going into the fourth quarter. And Chisholm has 15 points. He had eight in that quarter. You've got four players in double figures for South Severe, two right now in double figures for Delta. Yeah, absolutely. And so now Delta, boy, you got eight minutes left. You're going to have to really crank things up uh, defensively and offensively. Now Derek Smith, he's really trying to carry the load here in this second half. He's getting to the basket. 
the problem is, Robert, you can't trade baskets the rest of the way. Right. It's just not possible. You have got to get uh, two, three consecutive stops in a row where you've got to convert and then come back and, and maybe get another two or three. You just, like I said, and you can't trade twos for threes either right. because uh, they keep shooting the lights out from out there. Eight minutes to go in this game. The floor is apparently ready to go, and now they will. Well, they're talking to the, the well, they're talking to Coach Thompson at least, telling him something. Now the official Travis Roberts is going to come over and let the South Sea Rams know what's going on. Well, change his mind. He's going to go back. I, and I saw him saying to Coach Topham, he was showing hands together like he says these two players came together and collided. I think he was explaining what, what happened, happened right why, there. Why the why the why the long delay? Yeah. Because uh, I don't think a lot of people realize what happened because it happened at the end of the quarter. It was two South Sea players, so no whistle either way there. And now the teams are up. They're going to tell them not to come out on the floor yet. They've still got to get, the, get it wiped up. So we haven't got the blood wiped up yet here at <laughs> Burns Arena. So while they do so, let's take a quick break. We'll come back with the fourth quarter with South Sierra leading Delta 54-42 to on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. I'm Dr. Jason Standring, Central Valley Medical Center. I wanted to become a doctor because as I grew up, my family had a family doc that delivered my siblings and took care of us when we were sick and if we had to go to the hospital, and I wanted to do the same thing. Family medicine allows me to do that. I love the fact that I can take care of families throughout their lifespan, from birth and throughout their growing years and their families, even until the end of life care. I'm Dr. Jason Standring at Central Valley Medical Center, and we're accepting new patients, and I'm eager to get to know you and your family. You've seen Zions Bank's name at sporting events, performances, and fundraisers. We're just about everywhere. Your children and grandchildren see Zions dedicated employees in their classroom, teaching them how to save. We do all this because we have skin in the game. We support South Central Utah because we live and work here too. So we're as committed to this community's future as you are. When it comes to choosing to bank at Zions, rest assured you're selecting a company dedicated to bringing value to South Central Utah's businesses, individuals, and families. ZionsBank.com, member FDIC. Sahara Motors, just north of Delta, makes the vehicle buying process easy and stress-free just for you. Choose from five new brands under one roof and let the adventure begin. That's right, Sahara Motors has new Ford, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram all under one roof to make the process quick and easy. Oh yeah, and an entire lot full of pre-owned vehicles completes the deal. Be sure to welcome Kaylin Sperry to the sales force at Sahara Motors, just north of Delta. Since 1947, Barney Trucking in Salina has built a reputation of unparalleled customer service and satisfaction in the trucking industry. Barney Trucking in Salina is now hiring local drivers. If you're looking for a solid career in the trucking industry that has a positive working environment, join the big blue trucks of Barney Trucking. The job includes benefits, training, retirement, and requires a Class A CDL license and an endorsement for doubles and triples. To apply, go to barneytrucking.com or call 529-4422. That's 529-4422. Sevier Valley Hospital supports our local athletes, not only during the game, but when they need some help to get back into it too. Our own team of starters includes physicians who specialize in orthopedic and general surgery, ENT, podiatry, family and internal medicine, pain management, and other areas of care. And they work to repair sports and everyday injuries right at our hospital, helping to keep both our athletes and their fans close to home for your care. Sevier Valley Hospital, healing for life. And welcome back here to Burns Arena on the campus of Dixie State University, still cleaning the blood up off the floor yeah, from Tyson Chisholm. Been a big challenge for that young lady out there. She's trying to clean each spot at a time and being real careful with it. But, you know, I want to I want to throw some uh, accolades towards John Oglesby from the Utah High School Activities Association, one of the directors up there that's over basketball. He's been down here all weekend and is doing such a good job running the tournament. I appreciate him the way he handles people, the way he talks with people. He's done a good job. I wanted to... Sh just give a shout out to John and the effort that he has uh, made here on behalf of the young people. And so, yeah, taking a little while over there as he's trying to get it all cleaned up. And I just mentioned to you, uh, might be a little bit of a break for South Severe because they might can get uh, Tyson in there. Right. Either tape get it up or up, up, whatever they're what have do. they got to do. And maybe they can get him back here and, and not have to miss as much time, obviously. Right. You mentioned John Oglesby. He and I went to school here at Dixie State University together. We used to call basketball games there together. There you go. So. And maybe a break for Delta to kind of settle down as right. well. Maybe they can kind of get uh, their wits about them. It's a poor way to say it, but yeah. they can get things going again as they come out from the break because, boy, in this second half, uh, you come out and you put 22 up on the board in the quarter, 
uh, Sal Severe just shooting the lights out. And I said Sal Severe averages 70 a game. They were off that average at the half, but guess what? Right back on it is uh, the way they're playing here in the ball game. 54 to 42 is your score coming into this one. And coach, assistant coach for the Rams, Johnny Parsons, talks to somebody in the fan in the stands and gets him to come down. He's going to go take a look. Cates King, by the way, did make his way back out of the training room after he went down at that on that same play. But it looks like he's gone back in as well. He's over there riding the bike, trying to loosen the hip up. So Cates King on the bike, trying to stay hit loose. Grant Williams will be the one that checks into the game for Salisbury to start this fourth quarter. Yet to play in the game. But talking to the coaches earlier, he is their seventh guy, and he's been the clear seventh guy all year when they've gone to him. They haven't gone to him every game, but they have at times. And the assistant coaches tell me that Brant Williams is playing, playing really well as of lately, so they feel confident with him in the game. Absolutely. The young man, good-looking athlete. Yeah, and, great body, uh, just a sophomore for the Rams. Yeah, they trust him to come out and, and fill in right here. You know, I was just going to say, there's there's been a few injuries here in this tournament. Uh, obviously, that right there with, uh, you know, anytime you get hit upon the eyebrow, that, that, that's a one of the places that will split pretty easily. But, but with him... Uh, right there, you had uh, obviously Derek Smith yesterday with the knee, and also yesterday you had a young man from from uh, Morgan. I think you might have been calling the game that went yeah, down, dislocated an ankle, and that was that was awful looking. It, it looked somewhat like the Gordon Hayward injury. Right. Foot twisted the wrong way. I talked to the trainer about that, and I said, "Wow, how'd you dare pop that back in?" And she says, "I didn't." She said they had a guy come down out of the stands that uh, was a member of a trauma team. Yeah, apparently that's always here. nice to have around. Absolutely, <laughs> and he says we deal with this stuff all the time. Popped it right back in. So and much, be much better to have the dislocation than the broken oh. ankle or the broken uh, lower leg. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, there's been you, got, you talk about the Derek Smith injury. There was a game earlier today where for Sassabur girls, Maddie Blackburn went down with an injury where they stopped the game. So that happened quite a few times in this tournament here this weekend for both the boys and the girls. Still waiting to get the floor cleaned up as John Oglesby <laughs> and then one of the directors here for Dixie State University out there on the floor cleaning things up, getting the blood off the floor. We don't have to give Tyson Chisholm a hard time about this. There's blood everywhere, apparently. Yeah, apparently, he's just, he's just holding up everything down here. But uh, you hope they can get him taken care of and it's not too serious on the injury. So let's take another break while they're still down, wiping it up, cleaning it up with the paper towels. They've got the cleaner out there, scrubbing the floor right now here at Dixie State University. We're in between quarters, the third and fourth quarter. We're going to the final eight minutes with South Severe leading Delta 54 to 42 on the Bart South scoreboard. We'll come back to that next on the Mid Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. We offer quick service on your loan request. We make our loan decisions right here at the bank. You don't have to wait for an answer from some out-of-town loan committee. It's one of the advantages of banking with hometown people. You're independent, so are we. Utah Independent Bank, member FDIC. Hometown people, hometown spirit. Hometown people, hometown spirit. The Intermountain Power Service Corporation is proud to bring you this presentation. IPSC is a community-minded company that contributes to our local schools, community organizations, and economy. The Intermountain Power Project consistently ranks among the best of America's coal-based power plants in reliability, cost-effectiveness, and environmental responsibility. Intermountain Power Service Corporation strives for perfection and is honored to be actively involved with Delta Millard and Juab High Schools. Nearly every person reaches a point in their lives when they need to have their wisdom teeth removed. Dr. Barton of Elevate Oral and Facial Surgery is the choice for wisdom tooth removal that can give you the peace of mind that you want. Having completed an additional six years of hospital-based surgical and anesthesia training after dental school makes him uniquely qualified to help you. Dr. Barton always takes the time to clearly explain the procedure so that you fully understand what to expect and are comfortable with your treatment. Visit them online at richfieldoralsurgery.com or call them at 435-287-4455. Elevate Oral and Facial Surgery. Materion Natural Resources in Delta, Utah, advocating education and athletic competition in our Millard County communities. Materion is the only source of high-quality beryllium in North America. Beryllium is used in your car, cable TV, and tablet. It's even used in your cell phone. Because of beryllium, you're connected with family, friends, classmates, social media, and the web. Materion offers a safe and successful sports season to all Millard County schools. Materion Natural Resources. It's time to step out of one-size-fits-all medicine. Service Drug is now offering compound prescriptions that are uniquely personalized for you. The pharmacist at Service Drug will work with your doctor to personalize the dosage, and they can combine compatible drugs to simplify your medication schedule. 
They also feature flavorings that are child-friendly and eliminate unnecessary fillers to stop adverse reactions to medication. Ask your doctor how you could benefit from a compound prescription. And remember, it's service first at Service Drug in Delta and Fillmore. We at Styler Daniels are proud to be a part of our local community by serving the needs of our agricultural and corporate partners. From estate planning, real estate, water law, or litigation, we are here to provide superior quality legal services. And we are proud supporters of Delta High Athletics. Come by Swizzle Soda Shop in Delta to try our specialty drinks, snow cones, hand-scooped ice cream, baked treats, and more. There's plenty of room to hang out with friends and even play Xbox on our big screen TV. So come on by to Swizzle Soda Shop at 189 West Main Street in Delta. And welcome back here to Burns Arena. Quick three by Derek Smith as we start the fourth quarter. Off the rim, no good. Jager Springer the rebound. He'll drive in, put it up off the glass. Count and he's fouled. Springer the bucket and the chance of the three-point play for the Rabbits. Yeah, right there. Jager just was like, I'm not going to be denied. He knew he needed to get that back up and in and somehow gets it to go and will shoot a free throw. Now called on Peyton Wood. That's his third for South Severe. Quick update on that play. Coach Johnny Parsons, assistant coach for the Rams, came over, said a big cut on Chisholm, opened wide, might need multiple layers of stitches, probably not coming back tonight. And he said it looks like it broke Kate's King's nose. <laughs> yeah, the two ran into each other and hit heads. And, and, and the cut is, is below the brow, not above it. So, you know, and you want to be careful. Uh, you don't want to rush that too much when you're stitching somebody up with that kind of a cut. Brody Tabs off the screen, drives the lane, cut off by Gondor on the low block. Backdoor pass to the left side of Wood. Wood working inside, being double teamed. Ball gets locked away. Foul going to be called. And I think it's going to go on Springer. Prefer that for Delta over Derek Smith. It will be on Springer. That will be his third. Would have been either his or Derek's third. Yep. But... And I'm getting, Springer over that. I'm getting texts as well from different people, and yeah, because you know everybody's concerned about the health of these young kids. I got a, I got a daughter she came up in West Valley with her kids watching in. I got, I got people, parents back home, and you got people out there. These kids have grandparents watching in, so I appreciate Centricon Mid Utah Radio bringing this out and showing people. And South Square with the ball right near the timeline. Kate's King is checked back in for Brant Williams. Up top is Brody Tebbs, right side to Barton, guarded by Trevor Burton. And he's got an ISO situation. Crossover dribble, looks to drive. Got cut off by Burton. He'll hand off to Peyton Wood, guarded by Derek Smith. Goes to Hunt. Ball gets knocked away. Hunt crowds it under the timeline, but the ball gets pumped away again. Derek Smith has it for Delta. Turnover by the Rams will be there for. Yeah, nice effort there by the two guards. Into the corner. Jamin Bruff thought about the three as Kate King closed out on him. Now it comes out high left to Springer. Into the corner to Bruff, guarded by King. Out to Burton. Hands off back to Bruff, and they'll set up the, set up the offense. High left side, Smith. Looks to drive in, got cut off, kicks it out to Jake Day. Swing it left side, high to Burton. Picked up by Hunt, he'll drive left side. Got around him, scooper with the right hand. Off the glass and in. Trevor Burton the bucket, he's got four points. Wow, and that's quite an effort because he, he had to go so far when he left the ground and just kind of a scoop shot underneath the defense up over and on the glass. Caleb Barton gonna go past Burton in the lane. He'll scoop with the left hand, missed it short, rebound Derek Smith. Yeah, Barton he wanted the, the contact, foul, yep. Derek Smith across the timeline, going to drive right side against Peyton Wood, put up the runner, off the glass, missed it short. Caleb Barton, the rebound for the Rams. <laughs> that goes, it gets it down to five. That was a big one right there. Up ahead, right side to Easton Hunt. He'll drive inside, and he'll be fouled, and misses the shot. But if that's on Smith, that'll be his third. And it's going to go against Jamin Bruff, so instead it's Jamin Bruff's third. At the line to shoot two, Easton Hunt from the Apex Foot and Ankle Institute free throw line, first free throw of the game for him. First shot is up, nothing but nets. He's got 11 points. Yeah, Nate was telling me right there, Robert, when we do go to our next break, he can dial up that replay and you can take a look at that injury when the two players did collide. Second free throw from Hunt, nothing but net. South Severe six for six in the charity stripe in the game. Hunt has 12. So Delta had a chance to get it down to five. Instead, it goes right back to nine. And so right here, Delta really needs to convert, stay with him. Springer left wing, guarded in this one, two, two trap by South Severe. Now he gets it to Burton. Burton goes baseline. He's coming alive in the second half. He's got six all in this half. Yeah, they need Trevor to come to come to life right there. Just as we talked at the halftime break, that's, a, that's another great effort. He's so smooth at getting to the basket. 5.40 to go in the fourth quarter. Left side high, Barton. He'll come off the screen. Step back. He'll launch the deep three. Short off the rim. Rebound underneath. Knocked it back. Nope. On the floor still. Diving forward to Springer. He'll save it into Jamin Bruff. Delta coming the other way. Bruff pushing the pace. He'll drive in against Barton. Cross on the dribble. Got cut off. Out to Springer for three. And short off the rim. Smith the rebound. Back up on the left side. Too hard. Rebound on the floor. Picked up by Springer. Another chance for Delta. And a traveling called on Springer as he tried to pass it out. I think he realized Trevor Burton was clear in the backcourt and didn't want to go there and risk the over and back and he took yep. an extra step. Yeah, boy, what an effort there though. Uh, the Rabbits really, they, they understand they've got to crank up the intensity right there. 
Verde Tebbs has it in the backcourt for South Severe as Delta is going to kind of go to a man press, but Jake Day just allows Tebbs to bring it across the timeline. Tebbs works his way to the middle of the floor, gets into the lane, kick it out to Hunt. Hunt fakes right, goes left, pull up, 14-footer, in and out. Peyton Wood, the rebound down the lane for the Rams, back out to Hunt, and they'll reset. Offensive rebounds all over the place in this yep. fourth quarter. Now a great effort right there by South Severe to follow that shot up. And now a pretty smart move out there. As you can see, Caleb Barton saying, okay, let's settle things down. Right now we've got the lead. Let's just run some time. Cades King has it knocked away by Springer. He gets it back. He'll drive the lane, puts it the runner, blocked, no foul called. That one that I think Delta got away with. Coming the other way is Jamin Bruff. Into the wing, he'll go to Burton. Burton steps to his right. He'll launch the three. That'll be short, knocked out of bounds, and the rebound by Peyton Wood, Delta basketball. Yeah, and that might have been tipped on, on the shot there because it was way short. But uh, once again, the intensity really, really getting ratcheted up right here from both sides. Four and a half to go in the game. Seven point South Severe lead over Delta on the parts house scoreboard. Delta basketball underneath. Rough to inbound. Right wing. He'll go to Springer. Quick three. Short off the rim. High rebound. Barton has it for the Rams. Yeah, boy. And this time, South Severe dodged a little bit of a bullet because uh, uh, Jager Springer really had a pretty nice look right there. Just left it short. Play call comes in from Coach Parsons. Right wing. High to go to Hunt. Guarded tightly by Jamin Bruff. He'll go left elbow to Wood. Wood guarded by Smith, looking back door, not there. Now Smith comes in with the body. That'll be the third on Derek Smith. Yeah, I got to gamble a little bit there so he can create a turnover. And that time, South Severe got into what's called a flex offense. Just about every high school in the state of Utah. Now we got a warning on South Severe's coaching staff. And he's still letting the official hear it. Now his uh, assistant coach, Jackson Stevenette, says, hey, you got to calm down. That's hard, though, and that's his son-in-law. <laughs> Absolutely it is. <laughs> And again, uh, you know, a trip to the state championship game's on the line, so uh, you're definitely going to have some Three-pointer by Barton off the inbounds pass. Missed it off the back of the rim. Rebound Springer. He got another good look. Down the floor comes to Smith. Right wing. He'll pull up for the three. Short off the rim. He came in, got into in the body. No foul call there. Now a foul on the rebound will go against Delta. Yeah, a lot of contact yeah, both ways right now. Yeah, everybody hollering for fouls out there on the floor. Fourth foul called on Jager Springer on the rebound. Sixth team foul on Delta. South will shoot free throws for the final four minutes. Full court pressed it on by the Rabbits. Tebbs has it in the backcourt again. Jake Dade is kind of back there with him, but letting him bring it up the floor. Tebbs crossover dribble. Works it at the top of the key. Going to drive left side. Tied up by Dave. to reach in foul called first. Day not happy about it. Felt like he got the tie up. And that'll send Brody Tebbs to the line to shoot one and one. Foul on Jake Day is his first. Not sure what to say on that one. <laughs> Well, 3.48 to go on this one. Seven points, South Severe lead, 3A semifinal game. 56-49 on the part South scoreboard. Front end of the one and one for Brody Tebbs. In and out, rebound by Springer. I'm uh, just going to say, South Severe has not missed a free throw in the game. Left side, Burton gets around. Hunt hands off in the corner to Bruff. He'll set for three. Knocks it down. A huge Riverstone contractor's three-pointer by Jamin Bruff. He's got 15. Wow, Jamin Bruff is really playing a ball game here today with shooting with confidence. Across the timeline comes Brody Tebbs, four point South Severe lead. Picked up by Jake Day. On the Dixie D, high left side he works. Up top he comes to Easton Hunt. Ball gets knocked away, Hunt gets it back, guarded tightly by Bruff. He'll come up top to Wood, picked up by Derek Smith. Cross the dribble, nearly lost it, gets it back. He'll hand off to Caleb Barton on the Dixie D. And Coach Parson wants a timeout. 3.09 to go in the game on the Parts House scoreboard. South Severe 56, Delta 52. We'll take the break on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. You remember your family, right? Those cute little zombies that are always stuck to their screens? Well, with router limits, you can manage screen time, filter web content, and track the browsing history of all your kids. All you have to do is plug this little guy into your router. Seriously, that's it. Router limit starts with screen time. You can set a schedule for each family member, what they can do online, and when they can do it. You can filter content by category or even by specific website. Sure, you've got great kids, but sooner or later, they're going to come in contact with something that's not so great. Router Limits lets you see what they see so that you can have those important conversations before the internet has them for you. Router Limits helps my family disconnect from devices and reconnect with each other. Visit Centricom.com to learn more. 
And as we come back out of the break, we'll take a look at the replay when Tyson Chisholm for South Severe and Cates King ran into each other, causing the injury that made it so Chisholm is likely done for the game. He is back on the bench, but he'll have a bandage over his eye. And as the final play of the third quarter on the rebound is what had happened, and both Cates King and Tyson Chisholm went for it, ran into each other there, and the injury happened. Now as we come back to play here, South Sevier has it. They missed a shot, but Cates King, the offensive rebound for the Rams. That's been the difference in this second half is these, the second half opportunities. Now Jalen Bruff nearly gets the steal, but Hunt has it. He'll save it in. Wide open, Payton Ward, left side, got Jake Day in the air. He'll lay it in. Yeah, great effort there to save it and then to be able to get up and lay it in. Yeah, great play by Easton Hunt to save that one into Wood. Six points, South Sevier lead, 58-52. Now a block foul called on Easton Hunt, got out of position. Trevor Burton draws the foul. 15 foul on South Sevier and the second on Hunt. But Delta still a couple of whistles away from getting to the free throw line. And that, now that's uh, that could play so big in the ball game. Delta trying to be aggressive, but they can't afford to foul because South Sevier shoots the free throw so well. Passing to Derek Smith in the corner, guarded tightly by Brody Tebbs. He'll drive baseline, cut off by Tebbs. Kicks it out to Springer, pump fake on the three. He'll drive the lane, puts up the runner with the left hand. Kennedy's foul. Jager Springer the chance at the three-point play, and he can cut it to three. Boy, what a, what a big call right there. That could have gone either way. It really could have, and uh, Springer just got around a little bit to the left enough to lay that one in. You'll see here on the replay. Hunt steps over, and again, he started to lean early. Tyson Chisholm making his way back into the game. Got a big block on his eye, basically. As he checks in, Easton Hunt will leave. Hunt picks up his third foul there. 16th foul on South Severe, 2.33 to go. South Severe leads Delta 58-54 semifinal game. And, and they, Jager Springer at the line to shoot one. They've missed Tyson. They really have. Yeah. It's good for them to get him back. They need his presence on the floor. And one for Springer is good. Springer now with nine for the Rabbits. Timeout called by Coach Topham. 2.33 to go. We've got a ball game here in the semifinals. South Severe 58, Delta 55 on the Partash scoreboard. We'll take the break on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centralcom Channel 10. At Farm Bureau, when we talk about protecting what matters most, we're not just talking about things with walls and things with wheels. We're talking about people, your family. Everything that's important to you is important to us. That's why our agents are ready to help protect your future and give you peace of mind today. Visit us online or just stop by to see how Farm Bureau agents make insurance simple. In Delta and Fillmore, contact Chad or Melanie to see how they make insurance simple. And welcome back here to Burns Arena on at Dixie State University as South Sevier with the basketball leading Delta by three, two and a half to go in this semifinal basketball game. We've had a great one in this one tonight. And if you're South Sevier, you don't have to get in too big of a hurry. You do have the lead and you're gonna shoot free throws. So possession of, the, of this basketball, don't turn it over. That's the name of the game right here. And if you're Delta, limit it to one and done. You've given up too many second chance opportunities here in this game. Chisholm brings it up the floor for South Sevier. He'll hand it to Tebbs to set up the offense. 58-55, your score. South Sevier has struggled in this third quarter. Tebbs gets around, Jamin Bruff drives the lane, kick it left side of Chisholm, back out to Tebbs and they'll reset. South Sevier looking to be patient here with the lead, two minutes to go in the game, 2-10, left elbow goes to Chisholm, nothing back door, he'll come back up top to Tebbs. And just is just exactly the game that South Sevier needs to play right here. Patience, patience, patience. Up top is Wood, he'll hand back to Tebbs. Tebbs guarded by Bruff, here goes the Barton. Picked up now by Bruff. Barton drives around him, gets in the lane. He'll put up the runner with the right hand. Round the rim, no good. Rebound tipped out by King. Out of bounds it goes. Delta basketball. Mm. Had a pretty good look at the bucket. Just rolled off on him. And now Delta. Here's the chance that they needed. Chance to pull within one or tie the game. 1-2-2 two, two, trap called. Springer has it on the left wing. Worked his way into the baseline. Cut off by the defense. Pass up top to Smith. He'll take the three to tie it. Short off the rim, high rebound. Barton has it for South Sevier. And again, I just wonder a, a little bit uh, with that knee. Everything's been short here in the second half. South Sevier in this third quarter with only four points, outscored 13 to four. And the South Sevier crowd calling for a foul as Jamin Bruff came hard into Brody Thames. Cates King has it, he'll drive down the lane, kick it right into the wood in the short corner. Minute 18 to go, Delta down by three. And now Coach Parsons calls a timeout. He's letting the official know there should have been a foul call there, not getting it. 1.15 to go, South Sevier 58, Delta 55. We'll take the break on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. 
Robinson Transport is a major part of the central Utah economy by hauling supplies to maintain the energy needs of Utah and surrounding states. The management extends a sincere appreciation to all of their drivers for their hard work and dedication. Robinson Transport fully supports the education of our area youth and their participation in athletic competition. Should you need any construction equipment, topsoil, gravel, or concrete work, remember Robinson Transport of Salina, a proud sponsor of this sports broadcast. I'm Dr. Jason Standring, Central Valley Medical Center. I wanted to become a doctor because as I grew up, my family had a family doc that delivered my siblings and took care of us when we were sick and if we had to go to the hospital, and I wanted to do the same thing. Family medicine allows me to do that. I love the fact that I can take care of families throughout their lifespan, from birth and throughout their growing years and their families, even until the end of life care. I'm Dr. Jason Standring at Central Valley Medical Center, and we're accepting new patients, and I'm eager to get to know you and your family. And back here at Burns Arena on the campus of Dixie State University. South Center basketball, 1.15 to go in the semifinals. They lead Delta 58-55. Caleb Barton to inbound on the right sideline. Coach Parsons giving one last word of instruction. Wide open was Easton Hunt, and they couldn't quite get it to him in time. They'll get it into Chisholm, guarded by Jake Day. Chisholm works his way to the Dixie D, works his way left side. Now he backs out, picks up his dribble. He'll go to Barton. 108 to go in the game. Three-point Rams lead. He'll go to Tebbs. Tebbs right side high, guarded by Jamin Bruff. Spins around him. Works his way to the free throw line. Picks up his dribble. Nothing back door. He'll hand off to Easton Hunt. And Hunt picks up his dribble. Foul called on Jamin Bruff on the reach in. That'll send Hunt to the line to shoot one and one for South Severe. And that's the, the question you had to, to answer if you were Coach Curtis Toppa for the Delta Rabbits. How long do you go before right. you commit the foul? Because you really want to lengthen this game and try and get as many possessions as you can, even though South Severe shooting the free throws pretty well. Front end of the one and one from Easton Hunt. Nothing but net. He's now three for three from the line. He's got 13 points. Yeah, the senior right there showing some leadership as he steps up. Just nothing but net on the shot right there. One more free throw coming. You try to make it a five-point game. Second free throw. Knocks it down again. Easton Hunt now with 14 for South Severe. Five-point Rams lead. 54 seconds left. Left side high Springer. Into the corner to Burton. Pump fake on the three, look into the wing back to Springer, launches the long three, nothing but net, Jacob Springer, the Riverstone contractors, three-pointer, he's got 12-9 in this fourth quarter. Timeout called by Coach Topham. 45 seconds to go on the Parts House scoreboard. South Severe 60, Delta 58, we'll take the break on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. You've seen Zions Bank's name at sporting events, performances, and fundraisers. We're just about everywhere. Your children and grandchildren see Zions dedicated employees in their classroom, teaching them how to save. We do all this because we have skin in the game. We support South Central Utah because we live and work here too. So we're as committed to this community's future as you are. When it comes to choosing to bank at Zions, rest assured you're selecting the company dedicated to bringing value to South Central Utah's businesses, individuals, and families. ZionsBank.com, member FDIC. Sahara Motors, just north of Delta, makes the vehicle buying process easy and stress-free just for you. Choose from five new brands under one roof and let the adventure begin. That's right, Sahara Motors has new Ford, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, and Ram all under one roof to make the process quick and easy. Oh yeah, and an entire lot full of pre-owned vehicles completes the deal. Be sure to welcome Kaylin Sperry to the sales force at Sahara Motors, just north of Delta. And welcome back here to Burns Arena. South Severe up by two, 45 seconds left after a big three by Jager Springer for Delta. Full court press by the Rabbits. The ball will come into Caleb Barton, guarded by Trevor Burton in the backcourt. He'll just bring it up with a dribble. Crossover as he crosses the timeline. 38 seconds to go in the game. Barton hands right side to Hunt, guarded by Derek Smith. Off the screen set by Caleb Barton. Hunt backs out, and he'll pick up his dribble. Needs help as the double team comes, and gets it to Chisholm just in time. Chisholm goes left wing at two Tebbs. Tebbs works his way back around. Timeout called by Coach Parsons. South were playing very dangerously. Two players jumped in the air, and had nowhere to go, and able to find somebody. Exactly right, and they caught a break there. But now Delta's got to decide. Uh, you want to lengthen this game, you're going to have to pick somebody to foul. I don't think you want to foul Easton Hunt. He's very comfortable at the free throw line. You watch this team all season long, you probably have a better idea of maybe who, if you were if you were coaching Delta, who do you try to foul? Well, you talked about it earlier. You told me off the air, South Severe, too many scores, so many scores. They've got five yep. on the floor, and all of these kids have a high free throw percentage. Maybe the one I would put the line, Peyton Wood or Tyson Chisholm with the block on his eye might be the way to go, but he is a very 
good yeah. free throw shooter. He's had a great game today, but again, he's got that big patch over it just above his right eye. Absolutely, and I was thinking that same thing. Don't want to pick on the kid, but because, my goodness, the courage that he's shown, he's probably playing with some kind of deadening in that eye as well. Right. I imagine they tried to stitch him up, so, boy, the kid has really shown some heart here. Now, Delta, you know, sometimes you don't get to pick who you want to choose because the time's running out, or pick who you want to foul. He's got time's running out, so we'll see what happens here. Cades King has it in the backcourt, guarded by Springer. Springer picks up his fifth. That's costly for Delta there, too, because he's the one that's had the big fourth quarter with nine points. Absolutely, and so, you know, let's see what happens. Uh, like I said, sometimes you don't get a chance to, to, to choose. I want this person to shoot because your time's running out. What Delta needs here, they're hoping for a miss. And it is Cates King, and we didn't sure. talk about him, but he has not scored in this game. He hasn't even shot in this game, I don't think, has King. And again, he's got the hip injury, he's a little, little tentative, so that could play a factor. He's a pure shooter, yep. but that could be a factor. But if he can knock them both down, it's a two possession game, and boy, that's uh, big, big, big for South Severe. So, you know, let's see what the junior can do right here. He has shown a lot of guts being out here on the floor as well. Dawson Dutson checks in for Springer with his fifth foul. Here's the front end of the one and one short off the rim. Rebound, though, by Chisholm. He'll get it out to Hunt. Just 15 seconds to go. Hunt will be fouled by Derek Smith as he picks up his fourth. And now Hunt will go to the line to shoot two on the 10th team foul. You know, and the, the, the free throw was so short that it barely caught the front of the iron, so it came straight down. And, uh, boy, South Severe did such a good job jumping into the lane and picking up. And what has been the, the, the big thing in this second half, Robert? Offensive off rebounds. Offensive rebounds. That, yeah. That's what has killed the rabbits, and that's what has really, really played big into South Severe's game here. Timeout called by Coach Topham, a 30-second timeout. Again, we're going to keep it right here. 15 seconds to go in this semifinal game. We've had a classic here at Burns Arena. South Severe leading Delta 60-58. to 58. Delta has dominated the fourth quarter, trailed by 12 coming into this quarter, and now they trail by just two with 15 seconds to go, but Easton Hunt at the free throw line. You know, and sometimes uh, when you're that far down and you battle that hard to get back, it takes so much energy from you right. that little plays like that might pop up. And so... You know, give, give the kids credit there. They're battling. That one just took a good bounce for South Severe, and they made a play on it. Got to give them credit for making the play right there. And now back to the free throw line. Let's see what happens. South Severe coaches checking the timeout situation. Each team with one timeout left. We saw a game earlier where Juab got assessed a technical foul, calling a timeout when they didn't have any. It'll be at the line. Easton Hunt for South Severe. He's got 14 points for the Rams, including four in this fourth quarter. It's going to be Brody Tebbs at yep, the line, Brody not Hunt. Brody Tebbs at the line. And he's two for three in the ball game. The nice thing is, is he gets two for sure. First one off the rim, off the glass and in. That's key, makes it the three-point game. He's got 13. Yeah, I got a nice. That's a shooter's bounce there. The kid's a shooter, and you're right. going to get those kind of rolls. Second free throw, nothing but net. Four-point game, 62-58. 15 seconds left, Derek Smith pushing the pace for the Rabbits. Down to 10, right side, he'll cross over left side, pull up, 14 footer, off the rim, no good. Rebound by Barton for the Rams and he'll be fouled by Jamin Bruff. And Jamin Bruff picks up his fifth with six seconds to go. And the South Severe crowd can feel it, you can hear them behind us as they cheer on this team that looks to be state championship bound. Yeah, and it's been a great battle. It's one of those classics, honestly, these two teams putting it all on the floor here. Uh, broken noses, blood on the floor, people going down. They have really battled hard. And Jamin Bruff, you know what, came in and really gave him a lift here. I don't know what he finished with. Uh, 15 points. 15 uh, for, the, for the junior and for Delta. They're glad they'll have him back again next year. At the line, Caleb Barton. First free throw from Barton up and good. Nothing but net. Caleb Barton now at 13. And we just got a final from the 2A semifinal. Beaver upsets Leighton Christian 57 to 51. Yeah, that's great. Uh, you know, they've got a coach there that's been battling some illness this year. And uh, boy, Coach, my Hillock. Hat, so Coach Hillock has hung in there. And so, uh, boy, congratulations. Second free throw by Barton. Bounces around and drops in. Makes it a six-point game. Derek Smith across the timeline will pull up for the three from the left wing. Off the rim, missed it short. And that'll do it. South Severe heads back to the 3A state championship as Delta played a phenomenal game in their first semifinal since 1977, but they will drop to play for third place tomorrow afternoon. The Rams with a 64 to 58 win. They will advance to play tomorrow at seven o'clock here at Burns Arena. They await the winner between Grantsville and Manti. We'll take the break and come back with the Sunrise Engineering Post Game Show next on the Mid-Utah Radio Sports Network and Centricom Channel 10. <laughs> 